That is an excellent question. And we find that it's one of the challenges that every community looking at open access has to deal with. And oftentimes, the smaller the community, the larger that variable looms for them as they contemplate building out. So at entry point, we're working on solutions that will allow us to take the marketplace that gets developed in one area to another community. What that does is creates an instant scale, meaning that if we have a successful open access marketplace that's serving a customer base of 1,000 or 5,000 or 10,000 customers, that marketplace has established pricing. And if we can take that marketplace and bring it to a rural, rural community, and even if they only have 50 homes, that those packages and pricing can be delivered to that community. So we are focused on that. We have some strategic things we're implementing and we are successful in some communities. For example, the pricing that's available in Ammon is being made available in some other cities in the state of Idaho at the same price as those cities start to do business. And again, you have some fabulous assets in the state of Michigan that are looking at this same problem like Merit and the universities. And they're working on this same problem too. So my advice would be is if this is a path you want to walk down, have a conversation with us or someone else that is working on open access, and we can help you come up with a strategy and do that initial legwork of determining what is your marketplace going to look like and what will the pricing be. And we can get that up front to, to give you confidence as you make investment in building such an infrastructure. So if that's of interest to you, that's exactly the work we're doing is to give you surety as you build out. In multiple states, we're working on um, <clears throat> mechanisms that will allow everybody in the state to access the same pricing and the same ISPs. So I don't know if we'll go further at, at this point, but we're working on statewide structures. We, we hope that that will become a nationwide structure. So start regionally, grow at state, but make it so that people can reliably count on both the pricing and the availability of ISPs on regional statewide basis.